now that you're grown, um, what is your advice to the youngsters that are probably in your the position that you were in at their age? What is your advice to them? And 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 uh, you know, uh, you know, a lot of youngsters have things to prove, uh, or they want to be a part of something. Well, what do you what do you um, what what is your advice to those lost youngsters? My advice to you guys from from my life, Holmes. Me living the long, violent life that I lived, <clears throat> I made a lot of dumb decisions. Love your family, love your parents, because they're here now, but they won't be here tomorrow. Fuck all the bullshit. Stack your money. Fuck the drama. Stack your money. Save your money. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, if you don't got no money, you ain't going to make it, Holmes. Just mind your business. Work hard. Try to start a business. Invest. Find what you're good at. Be your own fucking boss if you can. Stack your fucking money for when you have a family. You could provide your family with a good life, Holmes. You know what I mean? You could take your children out to nice places. You know, keep them happy. You could have a nice car. You could have a nice house. Don't fucking wait till you're older. You know, like I did. Fucked off almost my whole life behind some fucking neighborhood bullshit. And then later, when you're old, then you try to catch up. Because that makes it fucking ten times as hard. Right now, while you're fucking young. You know what I mean? Uh, just play shit right. Stay out of trouble. Because at the end of the day, you may prove something now, but it ain't going to mean shit 10, 20, 30 years from now. If you do some time, no one's going to give a fuck. And if you die, no one's going to give a fuck. They may visit you now, but they're not going to always visit you. And you're still going to be dead. The fuck is that? What's that going to do? Or if you're in the shoe, who's going to give a fuck about you in the shoe? Hmm. You know what I mean? You got to live positive and be there for your parents. They're the ones that love you. Be there for your brothers and sisters. Be there for your grandma, your grandpa. It's all about family. Family and stacking money and helping others. Fuck all the rest of the bullshit. That's my advice. I agree, man. I agree. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> if, uh, okay. I always like to ask people these questions, right? All right. If, if uh, people from other states or cities come to your town, what is the best food in your town? Oh shit, man! I'm I'm in fucking Miami now, so fuck. Okay. It's pretty diverse here. <laughs> it's pretty diverse. I mean, I like Cuban food. You Cuban know, I like uh, Jamaican food. You know, uh, fuck, I like all food. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Mexican food, American food. It, it's just yeah. the mood. You know what I mean? C Cubans is real big over there. They got them Cuban sandwiches, real tough over there. A lot of Cubans. You know, all, all my padrinos, you know, in, in the religion, you know what I mean? Uh, my, all my padrinos son Cubanos, all of them. You know what I mean? So, yeah, Cubans, a lot of Cubans over here, homes. Yeah. That's they talk really they right? talk really fast, too, homes. <laughs> oh, man, for real. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. But Miami's a real diverse place. It's really nice out here. It's nicer than Cali. Way nicer looking. But uh, uh, expensive out here, too. Huh? A lot of people tell me. A lot of people tell me not to move there because there's a lot of hurricanes. Is that true? Well, I mean, life's a risk anywhere you go. You know what I mean? Right. Fucking okay, earthquakes in Cali. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anywhere you go, you know, you go to fucking Kansas, there's tornadoes. You know what I mean? Anywhere you go, homes, there's gonna be something. Anywhere. You know, it's just uh, whatever floats your boat, whatever you're into. You know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions and you gotta choose one or the other, all right? All right, let's do uh, Snoop Dogg or the game. Who? Snoop Dogg or the game. I like Snoop Dogg, cause you know, I like both of them, but Snoop Dogg's more relaxed. Let's do, uh, let's do uh, Beyonce or Rihanna. Man, I don't like none. Of <laughs> That's not my type, Holmes. I, I don't, I don't get jiggy with that shit, Holmes. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's do, uh, let's do, uh, 
Um, let's see, what, what can we do? What can we do? Um, tacos or hamburgers? Uh, probably tacos, Holmes. I, I like tacos. <laughs> hamburgers are good, man. <laughs> red chili or green chili? I like the red, man, because it's hotter. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you miss those uh, uh, bacon wrapped hot dogs out in Cali or what? Because I know they don't got them down there. Shit, I'll make those motherfuckers here, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, yeah, I mean, sometimes. Yeah. But um, I guess what I miss most out here is, is uh, good Mexican food. Yeah. You know, like New Mexico got bomb ass Mexican food. El Paso, <clears throat> Juarez, you know, Tijuana, Cali. Got bomb ass fucking Mexican food, Coke or Coke Pepsi. Or Pepsi, they said. Coke yeah, Pepsi. I, I like I like Coke better, but I don't drink none of them anymore. But but <laughs> I like the Coke taste better, especially uh, McDonald's cokes. I don't know why those cokes taste different than any, any other Coke. <laughs> right. Uh, so so you don't drink cokes no more. Like like, are you on some kind of vegan diet, or are you on kind of on a, on a certain diet now? No, it's just when you're uh, when you're an espiritista and a healer. Yeah. You know what's gonna kill your ass if you keep drinking it. Mm. You know, cokes, you know, smoking uh fucking dope, drinking alcohol all the time, eating hamburgers all the fucking time, eating a lot of bread, you know, uh eating a lot of sugar, all that shit's gonna kill you. Instead of Kool-Aid and Cokes, I'll get a uh, fucking uh water and squeeze some lime in it. You know, uh si quiero un té bueno, if I want a good tea, you know, because I feel like the sniffles. I'll go outside and give me some hierbas, clean them up, boil them with the root, put some lemon and honey in them, boom. You know what I mean? You just, uh, when you're a healer, you look at life from a different perspective because you heal people and you start knowing how the human anatomy is, you know what I mean? And uh, how certain things affect you. You know, right now we're, we're in a time where there's the most disease in this world that there's ever been, Holmes. Because all these foods have all these fucking chemicals in them now. Right. You know, in Coke and Pepsi, they're some of them. That's why I don't really fuck with them a lot. Somebody said Dickies or Ben Davis. Huh? So somebody asked Dickies or Ben Davis. Uh, I think for, for I think Ben Davis. I like Ben Davis a little more. Okay, yeah. Ben Davis. It, that, all, all that shit costs a lot, a, a lot of money now. They jack the prices up. You know, I, I think, um, I think back then our culture used to wear that because it was more affordable. You know, and yeah, we used to, we used to style it up and, and you know do do what we could with it. But the prices don't went up so high on that kind of shit. It's crazy. Yeah, it, everything's uh, inflation's all fucked up right now, man. You know. Um, but me, you know, I'm I'm a I'm a humble cat. So I just I wear fucking I just dress whatever. You know, I, I don't fuck with that shit no more. You know, Dickies and all of that, and Stacy yeah. Adams and all that. You know, I put on some fucking regular shoes and whatever's comfortable. You'll right. see when you're my age, Holmes, you're gonna agree. You're gonna be like, man, fuck that. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna put on these shorts and you know, a nice comfortable shirt. Yeah, you know, get up and go. <laughs> but everything's expensive right now, man. <laughs> 